broadcasting from the furniture capital of the world. It's Couch with Carson Presley. Tonight's guests, supermodel and entrepreneur, Amanda Kerr. Celebrity designer, Martin Lawrence Pillard. With Roy Day and his band, Cookie. Ladies and gentlemen, Awesome! Oh, hi! Hi, everybody! Hello! Hi! Wait, there's more. Oh, I was late on that one. I'm so sorry. There we go. Hi, everybody! God, everyone is so cute in the audience. Oh my gosh, there's my next husband. Um, you're not taken, are you? Are you on my team? Oh my God, things are looking up already. Ah, oh. uh, thank you. Uh, hi everybody, welcome to Couch. Yep, there it is, right there on the wall with my name right below it. I'm Carson Kressley. Design trends, that's what we're talking about today. There are so many um, amazing design shows happening all over the country. I feel like design is kind of like food, like it's become really popular, everyone's into it, everyone wants to learn about it, so I am thrilled. Have you guys been to one of these like big design trade fairs? They're all over, yes, they're fun. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. Give it up for Roy and Cookie, everybody. They are killing it. They give me so much time to walk up there. I'm in a circle, do a little shushing. Oh, good. Mm. Let's get right down to it. Um, so I love going to these like uh, uh, trade fairs, I guess they are, where like all the manufacturers are. And I go, there's a big one um, in High Point, North Carolina. It's like the furniture capital of the world. And um, yes, give it up for North Carolina. Have you been? You guys have probably performed at like High Point Market and stuff, right? Yeah, quite a few years. You have. Yeah. And do you walk around and see all the stuff? Mm -hmm. And what was your favorite part, Roy? The food. The food. <laughs> they have some good food. Yeah. They do. All the showrooms have like a buffet, I think, so you stay in there and buy stuff. Um, and they also have liquor, which also, yeah. <laughs> liquor makes me want to shop. <laughs> liquor and like disco music. Like if I go into a store and they're playing like a little like Donna Summer, I'm like, I'm getting those parachute pants, you guys. And people are like, what? <laughs> Makes you do crazy things. Mm. Ah, a little vodka. Okay, so speaking of what's trending, I had the chance to sit down with someone who knows trends like no one else. She's one of the most beautiful women inside and out. Take a look at my sit down with the incredible Miranda Kerr. You've been on the runways all over the world for major fashion brands. Um, I don't know if we can say them, but we're going to. Victoria's Secret, Chanel, and everybody in between. Mm -hmm. And I think this looks very fashionable to me, and I know you've designed fashion before, so yes. I think it's a natural transition into the home space because I always thought furniture is fashion. Being exposed to fashion from a young age mm -hmm. and all the different materials and the creative people that you get exposed to right. in the industry has definitely influenced. And it trains your eye. Yeah. It, it kind of You kind of it. know what works with what. Right. And you know what you like. Yes. And I think that's, that's the most important thing for a collection is that it has your perspective. Yes. And people at home kind of get to experience a little bit of, you know, what your life is like and what your taste level is. And I think it's so beautiful. And is that what got you excited to do a home collection? Yeah, I feel like home is really where the heart is. It's somewhere where you want to really unwind. As soon as you step in the door, you want to feel like, mm -hmm. ah, that sense of coziness, the nurturing, the tranquility. And the vibe I get when I'm in your house is that it's it's very clean and modern, but it's also very zen and very earthy. Yeah. Which I think is a great combination. Um, was that, how would you describe your own personal, like, kind of design style? Well, I love, like, natural colors, as you can see, with mm -hmm. pops of color here and there. And this collection I designed, um, like, very neutral colors, because that way 
little pieces can go mm -hmm. kind of in any room, really. Like, and they can it can fit with pieces that you already have. Right, right. And I love to incorporate, for instance, like the stone, um, and then like you know the little pieces of like the brass that you right, see. Right. The, it's a nice yin and yang too, because you have some kind of like more glamorous mm -hmm. kind of surfaces, and then you have a little bit more earthy. Yeah. And I even love like on this like cocktail table, the that grain. you have the wood grain. Yes. So it's like a lot of texture, which I think, I personally think that texture is the new color. I feel like texture is the new color. I Thank you. Yes, I'm all about. I think we just invented something, everybody. Write this it's, down. It's like layering, because you've got, you know, the, even though they're all neutral colors, right. you're layering like the stone with the lacquer, with the right. wood grain, with the, as you see, like the, the herringbone. herringbone. And then over there is mother of pearl. Mm -hmm. So they're all, and they all work together. How did this um, kind of partnership happen? So um, when we had our initial meeting, as I said, so um, the Universal team came mm -hmm. to my home did actually in Did come? Yes. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm pretty much, I think he's, Pretty sure we're dating, but anyway, yeah, I digress. Sure. We have the Love, Joy, and Bliss collection, so I'm I very much it. about upliftment and positivity. And the Love collection is for the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Joy is for the dining area. Okay, I like and, it. Um, bliss is for the living area. So right now we're in the Bliss. I thought I felt Wearing something. Bliss. Also at the same time, like being a mother, as you can tell. What? <laughs> I thought you just had a big lunch. You're having a baby? Yeah, the baby's due like very soon. So, so this is my kids? third okay. third child. So I need all the pieces to be functional. Right, and um, I'm sure people watching this would be like, listen, Miranda Kerr, you have, you're gonna have three kids yeah. and you have a white sofa. What yeah. are you thinking? Yeah, it's but good. But this is, this um, is a Performance fabric. This is performance fabric, so if something spills, mm -hmm. can easily wipe it off. Okay. And to me, that was important, being a mother, to have that functionality. It's very and it's cozy. Got, I made sure that it was like, the cushions were exactly the way I wanted them to yeah, be. Yeah, and you they have a nice loft. fall into them. Awesome. So there you have it. I it's love Miranda it. Her home. It's a very welcoming kind of home that you've created. Thank you, thank you so But it's much. still chic at the same time, which I love. Yeah, and you feel- It's a great balance. So you feel comfortable, but you also feel inspired. That was exactly. the whole aim. Exactly. Yeah. Well, there you heard it from just, you know, it's just us supermodels chit chatting about <laughs> Miranda Kerr home. I'm never leaving. Yeah, I'm get just cozy. Gonna get cozy. I'm going to have to uh, leave to give uh, birth to this baby, but apart from that, I'll be back. <laughs> don't worry, I'll house sit and um, enjoy yourself. I think Carson would be a great name for a baby. Mm, kind of works for a boy or a girl. Mm, that's true. Yeah, yeah I'll think about think it. Think about it. Mm. I'll be here waiting. Okay. <laughs> okay. So back to trends. We are covering one of my favorite topics, design trends. So where do new design trends come from? Who decides? Uh, well, we've got a great show for you today with a very special guest who's going to give us the inside scoop on all things fabulous. Now, I am a super fan of this person. I started following him when he was on Million Dollar Decorators. He is beyond, and he's been consistently named as one of the world's top 100 interior designers by Architectural Digest, and his A-list clientele includes Kylie Jenner, I'm pretty sure like all of the Kardashians, uh, Tommy Hilfiger, and Cher, just to name a few. So please welcome to the couch stage, my friend, Martin yeah, Lawrence Ballard. Oh, you're getting reggae. Thank you. Mwah. Mwah. Oh, you smell so good. Hey, sweetheart. Hi. Yeah. Wherever you want. Fabulous. Thank you so Thank much. You. Give it up for Martin, everybody. <laughs> I Thank mean. You. Oh my gosh, look how great. I love your zebra sneakers. I know, I'm doing a little bit of a sort of street look today. Yeah, you are. Yes. Yeah, decorator street. Decorator street. Yeah, darling. like you're in a gang that's going to come <laughs> take my chintz from me. Um, Thank you. Uh, how are you? Good. You look marvelous. Thank you so much. You have been so busy. Crazy. It's um, been wild. Every time I open a magazine, you're doing like the um, 
the like, was it uh, the kitchen of the year, yes. which was amazing. Was that in your own house? There was. It's the first time they'd ever done it in a private home. Right. Usually it's kind of one of those design events or something. Like it's in the middle of like a like a conference of some kind or like in Rockefeller Center. Exactly, exactly. But it's actually in your house. The maddest in thing In Hollywood. Was, the house was completely not done. Right. I hadn't moved in. It was still a building site. Right, right. And so I had to install the whole kitchen to make you look kind of fantastic. Mm hmm and uh, you'd never have known, literally, it was rubble all the way around. Did there. it, but the kitchen actually worked? Because yeah. I saw, like, yeah, for the yeah. photo shoot, like, in the magazine, you had a party, well, and way, uh, your friends were I over. Don't... I wasn't invited. <laughs> <laughs> I don't cook. Mm. You know, kitchens to me are uh, to, Decorative. Uh, to open wine and make tea. Right. So I have no idea, really, if the kitchen works, but it looks very pretty. It looked fantastic, <laughs> and I have a feeling, I know your work, and I know it, it, it probably works beautifully, and it yeah. looks gorgeous, too, which is, that's great design. If it looks beautiful and it does its job, yeah. that's, that's what we all um, strive for. I mean, you are definitely an A-list um, celebrity designer because I discovered you on Million Dollar Decorators, but also like when I would see amazing editorial spreads on Cher's house. Yes. And it was like this Moroccan fantasy. And I think it was, was it at the beach or was it in Sunset I've done, I've done a couple of houses for Cher, actually. Okay. The, the first one was in, uh, in uh, Sierra Towers. Right, right. In Sunset, which is this amazing um, building that a lot of very fabulous people have yes. lived in across, along the years. You go there, and in the elevator, yeah. you're like, oh, my God, I think I just went to the laundry room with Jane, Jane Fonda. <laughs> no, like, literally, that happens. And she does I, live in there, by the way. I only went there to visit friends. I don't live there. Um, no, it's, it, it's, 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 uh, it's a very cool building. It is. And Cher had the only apartment that was two floors. Right. So, of course she did. You know, you know what she said to me when I started that? She said, I want to feel like the first wife of a Maharaja. Which As is kind so of, many people you know, say. <laughs> which is kind of an amazing thing to tell a designer because, right. of course, I immediately jumped on a plane, flew to Rajasthan, right. bought the facade of a palace, and As brought it back. As one does. And we recreated it all, and we made this sort of extraordinary fantasy where I used all the exterior of the palace as the interior walls. I saw that. It looked like the courtyard of like, you know, some Indian palace, yeah. but it was like her living room, basically. Totally, yeah. There was a, a uh, sheer curtain that wrapped around her bathtub. Her bathtub was in the middle of her bedroom. And Cher likes to entertain in her bedroom, so there's always a seating area. As do I. As, <laughs> as, as we all do occasionally. But um, rather divine kind of giant sofas and things. Right. And so the bathtub's in the middle. Right. At the press of a button, a giant sheer curtain sort of whips out that was all oh. hand embroidered in gold thread. What? And so you could just see the naked outline of Cher's body. Mm. Yeah, it's drama, drama, ladies it's, and gentlemen. That's, it happens in my bedroom, too. <laughs> people look through my gauzy drapes and they see the naked outline of Cher's body, <laughs> which is why I'm still single, everybody. Uh, does she still live there? Actually, she doesn't. She sold that, but right. she, she lives in this extraordinary... It's kind of like a Venetian palazzo in Malibu. Right, I've, I've driven by right. it. It's iconic, you can't miss They're, it. Her gatehouse is bigger than my like actual house. And it's just like, a, I don't know what people do in there. They just do gatehouse things, but it's quite <laughs> um, impressive. They receive wigs and other such accessories. Yeah, deliveries. Yes. Deliveries, yes. Um, wigs arrived. Um, they get all that stuff on a daily basis. Um, what was she like to work with? I, um, I imagine amazing. she's fabulous. She is very, very passionate about design. Mm -hmm. I always say I think if she wasn't sort of this iconic singer, movie right. star, she would have been an interior designer. Oh, I totally get it though. When you see like the quality of her costumes yeah. and like the storytelling when you, if you have not been to a Cher farewell tour, get it while you can. <laughs> it is so good. There's possibly actually, gonna be a few more. She flies over the audience and I actually started to cry and I don't really have feelings so it was pretty impactful. <laughs> She, she flies over the audience in a, in a mock chandelier. Right. The chandelier were designed for her bathroom. Oh, really? Yeah. See, I didn't know that. I met her um, at the movie premiere for like, I think it was a Farrelly Brothers movie called Stuck on You. And it was like in 2003. And I walked into this like premiere party and like I Got You Babe was playing. And then I looked across the room, um, just like I'm looking like into the eyes of my next husband. And it was Cher, and she was like making eye contact with me. I was like, oh my God, Cher's looking at me. And then she did like this, and I was like, <laughs> and I was like, I think Cher wants to talk to me. And I went over and I talked to Cher, and we became friends. And then I had to do, I, I interviewed her for um, something the next day. And I had this like um, Brazilian necklace, like a scapulari, it was gold, and I had it on. And I was like, what should I wear to go see Cher? I wore Cavalli. 
because I thought it seemed right. And um, she was like, oh, I love that necklace you have on. And I was like, you can have it. And I took it off. Um, and her handler had left the hotel room. Like, you'd go to people's hotel rooms to do the junket. And I was like, here, Cher, let me give it to you. And I was trying to put it on her, but she had like a do-rag on and it wasn't going around her head. And she was like, oh, no. And I, as I was here like futzing with her head, her handler came in and I was like, no, I'm not hurting Cher. <laughs> it was very awkward. And, um, but since then, we've been good friends. And she uh, called so me. And like there was this no caller ID, which is always, I'm like, ooh, is that American Express? Um, <laughs> and she's like, caution to Cher. And I was like, what? And she was so lovely, and she's like, I just want to tell you, I have that medal you gave me, and it's on the um, knight that sits next to my bed. I don't know if you know the knight. Yes, I do. Do you? I do. I know exactly what that oh, is, actually. Well, that's where my, yeah. my gift is. Yeah, yeah. So. I think, actually, there's even a picture of that. What? In my, in my last book. Oh, Because there's a picture gosh. of her bedside table with that. With the little medallions yeah, on it. Yeah, that yeah. was me. That is wild. See, we collaborated. Amazing. And he didn't even know. Um, and you've also worked with so many other, you know, uh, titans of industry, also yeah. the Kardashians. Yes, which has been a wild ride. Yeah, have you done all of their homes, basically? I've done Courtney, Chloe, Kendall, Kylie, Chris. Okay, we've and got, and you've got to get. We'll get to Kim eventually. <laughs> I mean, they keep moving, so just. I've sent over some bed sheets, but that was about it for her. So far. yeah, but yeah. And how did they reach out? Or were you friends? Were you were probably friends uh, with I, Chris? I had known them for a while. They had. There was a crazy. Uh, a guy called Joe Francis that had Girls Gone Wild. Remember that whole thing? Oh, God, a gnome was more into that than I was. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> girls? Oh, you said Girls yeah, Gone Wild. Yeah, it might have been Boys Gone yeah, Wild that no, you were I liking. Was, yeah, but anyway. Show. Um, so I did this enormous, like a big 40,000 square foot estate for him okay. in, in Mexico, huh. down in Punta Mita. And so the Kardashians would go down and stay there. Right, right. And so Chris knew my work and loved it. And then we ended up seeing each other socially and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then eventually, uh, Courtney was the first one that reached out. Okay. It was at their Christmas party, because they have these big Christmas Eve parties right. every yes, year. yes, yes. In fact, I think I took Rue with me that, to that one. But anyway, and Courtney came over and said, um, you know, I love your work so much. I've loved mm -hmm. it forever. I just bought a new house. Would you come and have a look at it? How did she find, did she see you on Million Dollar Decorator? Or yeah, was it again, through, like, social media? She knew me, media? but obviously she'd see me on TV and right. all the magazine covers and stuff. And so I went over to Courtney's house, and it was gorgeous house, but she wanted mm -hmm. a whole new look. Okay. And so we started with her, and then two weeks later, Chloe called me and said, I just bought a house next door to, Ky to uh, um, Courtney. Right. Confused with all the Ks. Oh, so many Ks, <laughs> and, and, little time. And, and so then I did Chloe's, and right. then about a year later, six, six months, 10 months later, something like that, I had both the sisters on the cover of Architectural Digest. I saw that. Which was, it was the first time they ever had two people on the cover of AD mm -hmm. that were sisters. Right. First time they had ever had two homes that were done by the same designer on the cover. Mm -hmm. And at the time, it was the biggest cover in the history of the magazine. The day it came out, it blew up the internet in Condé Nast, and the whole thing went down. Really? It was amazing. Good for you. Yeah. That's great for your business, too. Yeah, it was really and, fun. And it was, I saw those, and I remember them. It was Architectural Digest. Exactly. And they were so chic, and uh, I thought they were so fashion-driven. Like, the accessories and the artwork and everything. Uh, their closets but, you know, were fashion, insane. Fashion and interiors are hand in hand. Right. I mean, it literally is today. It's on a great parallel. Mm -hmm. What you see on the runway, you're going to see in the home. What are you loving right now? Color. Color. You know, I mean, to me, beige is not a color. I don't, what did you say? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Beige. beige don't don't know beige. it. No, not a color. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the thing that it's so... We've seen so many of these interiors forever that have been sort of just layers of white and beige and a bit mm -hmm. of cream and... And, and people go, oh my God, cream, it's a color. No, color is a bright red lip right, right. and a pink wall. Right. And so the exciting thing is that people now seem to be really embracing color. Mm -hmm. They're not scared of it as they have been for so right. long. And one of the great design tricks that is a big trend, and I think it's gonna last for a while now, mm -hmm. is wallpaper. I love wallpaper. Back with a wild passion. Right, and everywhere, like wallpapers on ceilings, wallpapers, yeah. it used to be kind of like, maybe if you did wallpaper, you'd do it like in your powder room and it was a jewel box and you'd take a risk, but now there's large scale prints, yeah. prints in general. Yes, huge. In fashion and in interiors are florals and stripes and retro and mylar and uh, flocking and all of that. And, and you know, by the way, you mentioned ceilings, so right. that's another big trend. You know, back in, the, back in the 16th, 17th, 18th century, the ceiling was the area that you spent the most money on. Really? That's where you brought in Michelangelo to paint the ceiling and that was your, that was your status symbol. And then okay. of course, as we reached the late 19th century, early 20th century, 
the ceiling kind of got forgotten about. Right. So now the ceiling is, is, is a huge expanse mm -hmm. that we can decorate. Yeah, don't forget the tip is don't forget the ceiling. And, and Unless it, you have popcorn ceilings, then definitely forget <laughs> Yeah, yeah the forget ceiling. those fast. <laughs> but you can really, really create an amazing look by right. putting wallpaper on the ceiling. Yeah. And it'll transform a room. Even from, in my own Palm Springs house, mm -hmm. the ceilings were somewhat low, and so I added right. a, a silver, like almost like a foil wallpaper. I saw that, it's like a mirror almost. Yeah, and, it's, and it works really well in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's kind of elevated the ceiling unbelievably, so it looks like you've got 30 foot ceilings. Right, so it's endless. So those kind of tricks okay. are very on trend. It's all about, you know, creating ways to, to add magic and mystery mm -hmm. to your interior. You're very maximal, which I love. It's a lot of print, it's a lot of texture, it's a lot of metallic. Yeah. But I think that also depends on where you're doing it. Like, yeah, of course. If you're doing Palm Springs, you're gonna be a little bit more metallic and glitzy. Yeah. But and, I, and that's just me. I, yeah, I love that. <laughs> I love that. I want to come see your house You've there. You've got to come. You're I'm welcome going to come next stay weekend. Anytime you are you going to be there? I think so. Yeah, come, come stay. I'll just, I'll ring your doorbell. I'll come borrow a cup of... Margarita. Margaritas. <laughs> Margarita mix. My, my house in Palm Springs... And we'll see it. ...used to belong to uh, originally Roger Moore. Really? And then it became the Playboy Mansion in the desert. So, as you can imagine, I had to scrub the pool rather well before getting in. I'm sure you did. <laughs> the DNA in that place, my goodness. What do you, um, what do you do? I mean, what's worth taking a risk on, like, design-wise? Like, are you, um, you know, to make it fabulous and make it over top? Because that is, like, your middle name. And I think some people don't like to be too daring. But what's a worthwhile thing where you can go over the top and it's going to be amazing always? Yeah, you know, again, I think, like I said before, I think the fact that that you can add wallpaper into your homes. Mm -hmm. Even, you know, do you remember how the trend used to be where it was one wall? Oh, I, I hate an I hate accent one wall. wall. Me I too. Hate, I hate one walls for anything. If you're gonna do it, go for it. Right. Put it all the way around. Wrap the whole mean? room. Make a real moment, make a big mm -hmm. impression. Um, I love your books too, and Thank you have you. so many of them. And that's the other great thing I love about Martin is because even if you, maybe you're not a Kardashian and you don't have that budget, you can still get the book and you can see little samples of it and be like, oh my gosh, I could paint you know, my, my powder room ceiling turquoise and I could wrap it in metallic wallpaper yeah. and you can have a little bit of fabulosity, which I think is great. I love that word, fabulosity. Well, I, you know, I try to use it whenever I can. <laughs> I try to use it all the time. You, no, for, for, for a minute there, people were calling me Markash because I was doing so many of the Kardashians' houses. Right. But... Um, the great thing with, with books, coffee table books, mm -hmm. and, and magazines, I mean, I'm a huge advocate for magazines. I, right. lo I love being able to tear a page out of a magazine. Me too. Uh, you know, so the thing is that you get so much inspiration from that. Mm -hmm. Often when I'm with my clients, you know, I'll tell them, I'll give them homework, and I say, go to the newsstand, buy 10 magazines, right. sit at home, you know, sit in bed on Sunday morning with a cup of tea, mm -hmm. and literally go through it and rip out the pages where there are things you like. You might not like anything in the room, but maybe it was the door handle. Right, or the color of the ceiling. Or, yeah, exactly. Or... And all of that ends up being kind of like a jigsaw puzzle that you lay out, mm -hmm. and eventually you sort of see a room, you see a scheme come together. Right, you see the common thread of yeah. all the likes. I have those books. I, I love a magazine, too. There's something about actually seeing it and touching it, and the color totally. looks more saturated. And I'll rip them out into binders, and I have a binder that says country house, and a binder that says beach house, a binder that says New York City. I don't have any of those homes. Um, but he's working on it. But I just, I have the binder. So it's a great way um, to kind of keep yourself organized. And I'm not really good about scanning all the stuff into a computer, and like, I do love a Pinterest board. I have tons of those as well. Do you know Pinterest um, is the number one tool in America is that it? goes directly to sales? Be so people go on Pinterest and they right. kind of, you know, pull all the different looks and put it together. And now you, you can, can buy the things directly and click on it. So it's the most amazing tool for people to find great things, and particularly design-wise. Do you have products that people can buy directly? Do I have products? Do you? I know you have a store <laughs> on Melrose Avenue. If you're in L.A., yeah. you have to go and you have these. Every time I go by, you have amazing, like, Andy Warhol um, artwork in your yeah, window. Yeah, all sorts of madness goes and on And can people store. come and buy stuff from yeah. you directly in I the call, store? I call it my disco shop in there because it's always sort of sparkly and everything. And it, it, it constantly evolves. Maybe right. I, maybe I'll buy, like, some great vintage things or maybe mm -hmm. there'll be pieces from my lines. I've got a lot. I've, I have 14 lines. Okay. So I have everything from wallpaper to... Uh, fabric, tiles, mm -hmm. silverware, mm -hmm. porcelain, 
Um, you name it. And they can Even all... Even jewelry. Really? Yeah. I noticed your jewelry right here. Yes. Let me look at this. I'm a boy who likes to sparkle. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> look at all those rings. Um, and they can find all of it on your website? Yeah, or we have it only the to the trade? It's a lot of it's so, uh, some of it's to the trade, but a lot of it's now to the public. Right, and so yeah. they can get which a little... is great because it allows everybody to kind of, you know, be able to do their own thing. Yeah, and to access a little bit of that um, lifestyle that you're so you know, good the, at creating. The, the, I've been very lucky in my career. I've, I've worked with extraordinary people, um, and I've been lucky enough to design lots of product. Mm -hmm. And the most amazing thing is to see other people use my product in their own way. Right. You know, to see the creativity of how people work with my things and, and make mm -hmm. it their own. It, it's, it, it's, the, it's really, it's the best reward. Yeah, and you see it from somebody else's perspective, which is yeah. so fun. Yeah. Um, give it up for Martin Lawrence Ballard, everybody. Thank you, um, I'm gonna totally come to see you in Palm Springs. You better. Get that margarita mix ready. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Couch. We have another amazing episode coming up next week. And until then, stay fabulous. Yeah.